Hey guys, welcome to Nathan's Car Care. I'm Nathan, Here. and today I'm going to be revisiting the video Can Candare Really Remove Dents on a Vehicle? So I got quite a few comments on my last video on this topic about how there's a couple things that I did wrong in the video. Either I didn't heat it up enough, or I didn't use enough of the canned air. Um, so this time around what I'm going to do is I have more canned air, so I'll be able to be a little more liberal with that. I'm also going to be using a heat gun instead of a hair dryer, so we'll be able to get a little hotter. And then, so that we know when it is hot, I don't cool, cool it down too soon, I have a little infrared thermometer right here. So this time we are going to tackle these dents right up here, a couple of small ones. And then we're going to go to this one here, which is more of a medium dent. And then we are going to try the big dent on the bumper again. All right, so we're going to try this dent here first. That's a nice small one, a shallow one. Um, we are going to be using a heat gun. Make sure that if you do use it, be very careful because with a heat gun, they get hundreds or even some of them thousands of degrees. You don't want to get the paint too hot and damage the paint in the process of removing the dent, which is why we have our infrared thermometer right here so we can monitor the temperature and make sure it doesn't get too hot. And then of course before you heat it up make sure that you have your canned air ready to go, tab pulled off ready to go so that you can immediately after it's hot you can immediately cool it down. And one thing I did notice last time I was doing this is that the canned air does usually work better if it has the little straw attached. So we'll make sure we have that. Now, of course, one thing you are going to want to be careful of is make sure that you don't get any plastic too hot that's nearby. So this is very near to the dent, so I'm, i got to be careful not to get this too hot because this will melt at a much lower temperature. All right, so we're definitely very cold. We're at negative 30 degrees. Let's see. All right, so here's the dent. It's still there, still the same. I'm gonna try getting it a little hotter. I got it to about 200 that time. I'm gonna try getting it a little hotter, see if that doesn't work. Alright, this time I went to I don't know, 300 degrees, so we'll see if 300 to negative 30 does the trick. Alright, so here's where the dent was. It is still there, still in the same spot, just the same as before. Alright, so we're going to go and try this one here. Let's go ahead and get that hot.
that dent is still there just as big as it was before. So, let's go ahead and try the one on the bumper. Alright, that dent is just as big as it was before, no smaller at all, I'm seeing absolutely no improvement. Alright, so that one up here, no difference, no difference, and no difference. I'm not really sure what else to try at this point, um, I, I got all of them very hot, we verified the temperature with this thing here, each one got to at least 300 degrees. Um, I used a full can every single time and I cooled it off as soon as I took the heat away so I'm not really sure what else there is to try if you have any ideas drop it in the comments below I would be interested to know I have heard some people use dry ice instead of the canned air that might work a little better if we can get this video to 500 likes then I will definitely go out and get some dry ice try that see if that works if you guys can think of anything else that I could try to try to make this work, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video with all your friends. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it next time when I have another video like this come out. And until next time, this is Nathan signing off.